Okay, so here we are today with the XFC version of Linux Mint Debian. Now this came out about a week ago and it is the Debian based version of Linux Mint, but this time it's running XFCE 4.8 on the front end. Now Debian and XFCE, as we have seen before, makes for an extremely lightweight distribution. And I'm going to confirm that by having a look at how many how much resources this is using. It is fully installed in a virtual box, and I must say it runs lightning fast even though it's inside a virtual box. So here in the system monitor we are using not even 100 megabytes of RAM. And I've already been playing around with this system for a little while. So it's a very lightweight distribution indeed. And the good thing about this particular distribution is that it's not shying away from the heavier applications. So because of the fact they've made they've been able to make the system so lightweight, they've been able to put more run-of-the-mill applications in here instead of having to uh, cop for the uh, for the lighter for the lighter weight apps. So here we've got the standard XFCE menu, and under accessories uh, we have pretty much the same software selection as per Linux Mint GNOME Edition, uh, with the exception of the Thunar file manager, which of course is uh, standard for XFCE distributions. Now the theme, of course, is uh, is you know Linux Mint. It looks very minty indeed, particularly running along the Mint 10 theme. We've still got the same icon set and uh, everything else. Uh, the, a lot of their GTK icon theme is uh, very cross uh, desktop environment uh, compatible. So we've also just got the standard Linux Mint applications here, just same old, same old, really, which is quite an achievement that they're able to load the same old, same old on a distribution for light. And it's really quite an achievement that they can get the same old, same old in a distribution and pack it right down so it's fitting under 100 megs of RAM when it's just idling. That is quite an achievement. So big props to the Linux Mint team for providing such a lightweight but easy to use distribution. Ideally, I reckon this is the way distros should be. They should really keep the desktop environment out of the way and offer you the best applications you possibly can. A lot of the lightweight distributions out there yeah, they give you they give you a very lightweight um, desktop, but at the same time, some of the applications are pretty lame at times. But uh, you can see here we've got all the standard XFCE stuff and all the standard uh, Linux Mint GNOME stuff as well. So we've got FSpot, we've got GIMP, we've got all of those uh, fun tools. We've got OpenOffice, uh, we've got the full OpenOffice suite. And I'll just load up a few applications here and see how we go. Now Debian of course is uh, rock solid stable as we all know and uh, so I haven't experienced any crashes. You can see here under multimedia we still get the same amount of applications that you get with the standard Linux Mint edition. So you know you've got Rhythmbox, you've got VLC, really there's all you could ever want or need in here. They've, uh, they've catered to every need you could possibly have as the Linux Mint team are famous for. Um, Firefox web browser, Giver, GNOME PVP, we've all seen this before. Uh, Office, we've got the full open Office suite. Something that I did notice was they have their own unique branding. Uh, well, it's not their own unique, but they do, have, uh, they do have their own little splash screen here that does not feature the Oracle logo anywhere, which is kind of nice to see, I suppose. And you can see here that uh, that I've got all of these rather uh, usually heavy applications running. And let's check the system monitor and see how we're going. But uh, I've not given this virtual machine too much RAM at all. I've only given it uh, 440 megs of RAM and we are only using 165. Let's just take a quick check of what we're running here. We're running FSpot, we're running GIMP, we're running OpenOffice and we're running the system monitor. Let's see how high we can go. All right, let's uh, let's fire up. Okay, let's fire up Firefox, and we'll do the Rhythm Box. And can, have I got anything else that rhymes? No, I don't. Let's do Gparted as well. Okay, so it's asking for the password for Gparted. Firefox is up. Gparted is up. My goodness me. Okay, now let's see what we're running. Okay, now we are at 200 megs. Now, can I just remind everyone that the GNOME edition of Linux Mint, the 32-bit edition, out of the box when you first boot that system up, you will be running at about 330 megs with nothing running. This, we have 
nearly the heaviest applications we can muster. Firefox, Music Player, OpenOffice, the GIMP and FSpot all running and we are only using 209 megabytes of RAM. So that is a, a true achievement and it's definitely an ideal distribution for, uh, for, for the older hardware. Now something that I will add is because it's Debian it's not quite as easy to use as what Ubuntu is. Um, you do still get the famous uh, software manager that Linux Mint provides and they have not skimped on any of their configuration tools that of course have made Mint famous. So along the bottom here you'll still notice we have the, uh, the update manager, network connection etc. So you can still install all your favorite applications through the software manager like Adobe Reader, like uh, Chromium Web Browser, Dropbox, all that fun stuff. It's all here, it's provided in a very coherent uh, Debian desktop it's extremely lightweight, they have not skimped out on the applications here at all. It's a very impressive release and it's a real testament to what is possible with something as modular as, as what Linux is. So of course you do get Synaptic Package Manager as well and you will be asked uh, to uh, grant permissions for it. And um, oh, look, there's not a whole lot more I can say. You uh, will check from the uh, which repositories we're, we're pulling from. So let's see, we've got Debian testing, that's where we're pulling from, uh, we're pulling most of the software from, De uh, from Debian testing. We are also pulling from uh, Debian security and Debian multimedia. Now I imagine also we have the Linux Mint, um, we've got the Linux Mint repositories enabled here as well. So what we might do is just have a quick look to see uh, what comes from what. So you can see here we've got uh, we've got most of the uh, we've got the Firefox stuff coming from the Linux Mint. We've got Thunderbird. We've got VirtualBox. Uh, we've got the Ubuntu font family has also been backported into the Debian version. Um, yeah, honestly, they've got all the applications you could want here. You've got Opera, Picasa, Skype, VirtualBox. Those are all things that are kind of hard to access on Debian. They've made it very easy here. So this is true for um, the, the main Debian edition, uh, LMDE, and it's also true for this one. But this one is definitely one for the older computers. This this is capable of running on a computer that's, oh, look, 10 years old, even more. You can see here we've got all the games and all and everything you could possibly want, Alien Arena, you name it. They've got the best Debian repositories here enabled. You can uh, choose a local mirror. You've got all the applications you could possibly want. An extremely light and uh, lightweight and fast desktop environment. Uh, what more can I say? It's a great distribution. Uh, it's not one I'm going to personally use because I've got a you know perfectly modern laptop, but definitely recommended for those who have an older computer. It's a wonderful lightweight distribution. And yep, ladies and gentlemen, it's Linux Mint. XFC Debian Edition.